guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you 15 kitchen hacks or food hacks. I've recently discovered a few new ones on TikTok and various other places. And some of you will know that I love to find new hacks or tips or tricks that just make life a little bit easier. And in today's video, there are definitely a few that are a little bit mind blowing and that I know that I'm gonna use in the future. So I hope you really enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a big like. And if you do like hacks, then please consider subscribing. And with all that said, let's get into the video. Some of you guys will know that my husband Matt is very sensitive to onions and whenever he cooks, he wears these onion glasses. And the other day, um, I showed that in a day in the life and someone commented that if you wet a paper towel and then put that next to where you're cutting the onion, it won't actually hurt your eyes because this will be the closest water source rather than your eyes. So I thought I would test it out, see if I can save Matt the trouble of wearing those very stylish glasses. So I've just wet a paper towel here. I'm gonna put it next to it and then chop up the onion. this one kind of works. I'm getting the smell of the onions but my eyes aren't actually crying so it might be one for you guys to try as well. I really wish Matt was here so I could test it out on him. This next hack is for all the coffee lovers out there especially as we come into spring and summer. If you like to drink iced coffee I just love this hack. So all you do is make up some coffee and then fill up your ice trays and freeze the coffee and that way when you do make iced coffee you're not actually watering it down with ice cubes you're just using frozen coffee. Hopefully you could do it a bit better than I just did. I spilt a little bit, but now I'm just gonna let the coffee cool down in the trays and then I'm gonna put it into my freezer. way to cut herbs and it is using a pizza cutter. I actually use a pizza cutter to cut so many things like pancakes or toast or pastry. It was especially easy as well when I had a baby in one arm to just cut toast like this. But the weird thing is when it comes to pizza, I end up using scissors. Uh, but anyway, I'll show you how I cut herbs. I've got sage, thyme and rosemary here. So I literally just group it all together and then start slicing. herbs chopped up I wanted to show you another hack if you buy fresh herbs and then you notice that they're going off in your fridge don't chuck them out this is a really good way that you can save them to cook with later and this is a tip I saw from Jamie Oliver so he will chop up the fresh herbs and then put them into ice cube trays and top them up with an um, olive oil and then you can use it um, especially in things like roast potatoes or other dishes that you're gonna make later on keeping herbs fresher for longer. I wanted to show you another hack to do just that. So I've got some coriander here. We use this all the time on top of curries and chilies. So I've just bunched it together and it actually came with a little elastic band around it. So all you wanna do with your bunch is pop it into a little glass of water and then put that into the fridge and it will stay fresher for longer. also works really well for celery as well. So if you cut your celery into sticks and then you can pop them into a glass of water and then they won't go floppy so quickly either. is a very simple way to hull strawberries without actually wasting too much of the strawberry. So you just need a straw for this hack and all you do is just push it through the strawberry and then the top comes straight off. Look. 
and then you still have all of that strawberry to eat. And we actually eat a lot of strawberries in this house. All the boys love them. So I went one step further and bought this actual like strawberry huller on Amazon. So it's just like a little claw and you just stick it into the strawberry, push, and then you twist and then the top comes off and yeah, you don't lose hardly any strawberry. <laughs> saw on TikTok and I thought I've got to try that for myself. So it's basically shredding chicken, which I've steamed here, with your whisk. And it looked so seamless that I wanted to give it a try. goodness I don't know who came up with this but it worked so well they are like just perfectly shredded chicken whereas I suppose if you put chicken into a blender or something it just it just wouldn't come out like this but it worked amazingly well this next hack is another one that I saw on TikTok I probably go on TikTok too much but it was basically a mom who was heating up a knife like this and then she cut a plastic bag and then she had two separate plastic bags and I thought I need to try that out for myself. So we're gonna try it out together. So I'm just gonna heat this up on my gas um, stove. Oh my goodness, that hack worked so, so well. So I had one plastic bag and then you saw what I did. And now I have two separate plastic bags. So if you wanted smaller ones for like little snacks, it was so easy. Make sure that you're really careful and don't heat it up too much because it actually cut my cutting board as well. Because I did cut my cutting board, I think I'm gonna try heating up my scissors and then doing it that way. So let's see if it works. <laughs> I tried it it didn't actually work quite as well there is a little hole in it um, so the knife is probably the way to do it this next hack is a simple way to find out if your eggs are fresh or not so if you're like me and you decant your eggs into your fridge and they don't have a date on them and you're not 100% sure they've been sitting there for ages you can actually put them into some cold water and if they're going off they will float whereas if they're still fresh they will sink to the bottom So this egg's used by date isn't actually for another week, so it has sunk to the bottom, but if you're ever unsure and then it starts to float, then you know that it's probably going off. Next up, I'm going to show you a very simple way to separate your egg yolk to your egg white, and it is just using an old plastic bottle like this. You just kind of like push the air out and then the egg yolk should go right up into the bottle. Or if you're really skilled, you may also be able to do this with just your hands. This next hack is a way to get the perfect shaped potato wedges using your apple cutter. So I'm gonna test it out today on this potato. So I'm actually just gonna cut a tiny bit off the end to try and make it a little bit flat so that I can then push this down. So that actually did work really well. You do have to give it a bit of oomph, but it did cut them into like the perfect shapes and I think it would work really well on sweet potato wedges as well. This next hack is so, so simple, but I didn't actually discover it until last year. So you know when you buy tin foil or baking paper and whenever you're getting some out, it like falls out of the box? Well, there are actually little tabs on the side that you need to push in to hold the roll in place. And once you do that, you won't have that problem. This next hack might be something that you already do, but I find the simplest way to peel a garlic clove is to cut a tiny bit off the end and then squish it down with the side of a knife and then the skin just falls off of it. Thank you. 
This next hack I recently shared on my Instagram account and so many people went crazy for it. It's the most simple thing ever. So basically, the holes on your pot handles are not just for hanging up your pots. You can also use it to hold your mixing spoon. So say you're making pasta or something like that, you can actually stick your wooden spoon into the pot handle and then it can be dripping back into the pot. Right, so that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.